What's up, friends? Jared with Drone Talk Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. As you know, every Tuesday I'm dropping bite sized videos for you guys talking all things drone. Today we're going to touch on panorama photography, what it is, and how to do it with your drone. So stay tuned. What's up, friends? Thanks for dropping in. I really appreciate you guys dropping me a line and letting me know that you appreciate the videos. If there's a specific topic that you want me to cover, drop me a comment below or shoot me a message and we'll get it covered for you. So like I mentioned, today we're going to talk about panorama photography and you might be wondering what that is. And essentially all it is is taking really wide and really big photos of a really big landscape structure or any kind of structure or subject. Um, if you have a big subject that you're trying to fit in your photo, typically a panorama photo is what you're going to want to do. Um, it's taking several different photos and stitching them together to create that really big, wide and tall photo to fit your entire subject in it, say a lake or mountains. Um, a lot of landscape photographers do panorama photography and HDR photography like we touched on in another video. In fact, that's kind of how I got into drone photography. One of the previous jobs I had was doing marketing for an outdoor park and I started to take photos and videos of the park and I really wanted to showcase it from the air, hence aerial photography of a beautiful lake and a beautiful park. And so I got my part 107 license in 2017 and started doing aerial videos and aerial photography and just fell in love with landscape photography. And so one of the limitations we have with our drones is that we can only fly up to 400 feet in most situations. And so if you're taking, you know, a photo of a very large subject, whether it be mountains or a building or a lake or a city park, you know, you can't always fit it in the frame. And so how do you, how do you take a photo of the entire subject that you want to take a photo of? That's where panorama photography comes in. What you're doing is you have your subject and you're taking several different photos across the subject up, down, left, and right. You can do a horizontal panorama where you take three or four different photos horizontally, or you can do a vertical panorama where the drone takes vertical shots, you know, low, medium, and high shots. And what you'll do is you'll stitch those together in your Lightroom editor. And so when you do panorama photography, you wanna make sure that you're shooting in raw so you get the most information possible when you are editing. But the very first thing you need to do before you prop, or prop your drone, put your drone in the air, excuse me, is to go into your camera settings and set it on, um, instead of single shot or, or HDR bracketed photos, select the pano function, panorama function. And depending on the drone you have, you might have a few different functions. You can do a 180 panorama, you can do a 360 panorama, a horizontal, a vertical panorama, and we can do a video on each one of those and what they're useful for. But what I recommend for general landscape photography is either a horizontal panorama or a vertical panorama. A horizontal panorama on the DJI drones is going to take nine different photos. Think of like a square and break a square up into nine different blocks. And what your drone is going to do is automatically take a photo at each of those nine different blocks. And that is going to be one panorama photo that when you get it into the editor, you can stitch together. Now the drone will also stitch it together for you in a JPEG that you can immediately download to your phone and upload to your social media and you don't have to mess with stitching it together. But if you want the most out of your photo, take all nine of those photos, all raw, to your editor, stitch them together in Lightroom. So you just select them all, you right click and you hit, uh, you hit merge panorama merge and it will merge all those photos together and give you one panorama it's nine photos stitched together in one and you can fit that entire subject matter into your photo now another cool tip is you can do several different panoramas and merge them all together so i went out this morning and i took a beautiful shot of the sunrise and i ended up merging three different panoramas and on my drone that was 27 photos what i did was a style of panorama photography and HDR photography, like we mentioned before, taking several different types of exposures of the same picture. So what I did is I took my drone in the air, I set it on horizontal panorama, and I took the same exact horizontal panorama three different times, but each time I was on a different exposure, a, a very low exposure where I was exposing for the sun, a medium balanced exposure where I was kind of exposing for everything, and then one stop higher, uh, a, a very bright exposure where I was exposing, exposing for the shadows. Now it was the same exact panorama, but three different types of exposures. And so when I merged all three of those together, all 27 photos together, I got a very well lit, wide, tall, 
a photo that covered my entire subject matter that I was shooting for. And so it's a really cool trick to use coupled with your panorama function on your drone. Now you do have to do that manually, the exposure setting, but it's pretty simple, um, especially if you've already done some of the bracketed photography like we talked about before. And so that is one instance where a panorama function on your drone can really come in handy. And that's another tip on how to, you know, elevate the panorama is doing HDR panoramas. And so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Just a quick tip on how I do some of my photography and a lot of my clients love that photography, especially if I was, you know, doing their, their campus, like I did Meridian Technology Votech campus here in Stillwater. And I did several different panoramas and stitched them together so I could fit their entire campus in one photo. So it is a really good function and utility that you can use for clients and just for yourself if you're out there having fun. And so I hope that was helpful for you. And if there's another topic that comes to mind, please shoot me a message and we'll cover it for you. And we'll catch you guys next time on Drone Talk Tuesday.